The goal of this video is to set up idle, walking, and running animations in Unity. So to start out, I have a character that I imported from Blender. And attached to that character is a character controller, an animator component that uses the player character animator that I set up, and then a character controller script, which control things like the speed, the jump height, gravity, and so forth. So I have a script set up in a different folder. I'll open that in a minute, but first let's play the game. I can move the character around, I can jump, but you'll note that none of the animations are running because I haven't actually set them up. So if I go to the animator tab, which should appear once you have an animator component, and then I go to my prefab for that character, and I'm going to drag and drop the three animations that I imported from Blender. So that'll be idle, walk, and run. Then I'm going to drag the animator tab back down. And now I'm going to set up transitions between the three of these animations. So I'll right click on, I try to set these up. I'll right click on idle, hit make transition, and the same in reverse. Make transition from idle to run, and then from run to idle. And then lastly, from walk to run and run to walk. This is not the most efficient way to do it, but it's the easiest to understand. So for these transitions, I'm going to set up a parameter, which I already have. I hit the plus icon and then float and called it speed. And then in each of these transitions, I'm going to set a condition. So if the speed is greater than 0.01, so if we're moving at all, we want to go from idle to walk. And then the inverse is true. If the speed is less than 0 0.01, we want to go back from walking to idle. And then the same thing for a walk to run, but this time we'll say if the speed is greater than 0.5, and then the opposite if the speed is less than 0.5. This speed value does not equate to the speed value from the character controller. So even though I have the speed set to five, this is just from zero to one. So I've set all these up. I actually removed exit time from all the transitions to better demonstrate this, that as I move the speed to different values, you can see that it'll execute the idle, walk, or run animations. So now I need to actually get the speed parameter to update via the script. So I'm gonna go into the character controller script and you'll note that I have a vector three for move direction. And then I also have an animator uh, value to get the animator component. So I'll set up the animations here. So if the move direction is vector three dot zero, so if we're not moving at all, we want to run the idle animation or execute the idle animation. So we're gonna say animator dot set float. So we're gonna set that speed value to zero. So if we're not moving, that speed value will get automatically updated to zero as we were able to do manually previously. So else if we are moving, so if it's not zero and we're not getting whatever the value is to run, in this case it'd be hitting the left shift key, then we wanna walk. So we're moving, but we're not sprinting. So animator.setfloat speed, and then we'll set it at 0.5. And that should make it to where we walk. And then run would be basically just, if we're not idling or we're not walking, we should be running. So animator.setfloat speed, and we'll just set the value to one. And that should be it for the script. I'll show the rest of the script there. If I save this, Go back into Unity and click play. Again, you can see my character controller there. So I click play. So my speed value is five, but that's for the actual speed that I want the character moving. That's not for what's controlling the animator controller. The animator controller is just a value from zero to one to tell us whether we're idle or walking or running. You can actually name that parameter something different if it makes it easier. And that's pretty much it.